What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion 9 tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the Mass Move tool inside of Lumion. This is the tool that allows you to animate multiple different cars driving back and forth or people walking, things like that. In this video, we're going to focus on animating the moving cars. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So the tool itself is contained inside the Movie section of Lumion. So the actual animation happens in the Movie section, but you have to to place the objects inside of build mode. So what I want to do is I'm going to start off and I just want to put some cars in this model um, just for the sake of this example. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the add object section. We're going to click on transportation. We're going to click place. And in this case, I'm going to use the mass placement tool in order to do this. And so what we're going to do is I, I think this road in real life is actually double lane, but we're going to pretend like it's single lane just for what we're doing right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're just going to place a line of cars. And so one thing you can do when you're doing this is you can hold the R key in order to rotate your orientation of your objects before you start placing them. So in this case I'm just going to hold the R key then line this up with this line. And actually with the uh, mass placement tool it doesn't really matter um, but the mass placement tool is located down here and so what we're going to do is we're going to click then we're going to click again in order to add a number of different cars. And so you can place as many different car types in here as you want. So you can add or remove different kinds of cars. Um, so let's say for example that we wanted like some SUVs in here or some trucks. We could add add those to this as well. And you can see how this is just randomly placing those inside of your model. And uh, you can create as many of those as you want. If I wanted more, I could just click and drag this here. One other thing I do a little bit of is I randomize the spacing along the line so that some cars are a little closer to each other, some cars are a little bit further away. And so once we've placed all those cars in here, I know this is kind of a long row of cars, um, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click the Confirm button. And so what we've done is we've placed however many cars along this path right here. Well now what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to start off by just showing you how to animate those. And so to do that you're going to go over and you're going to click on movie mode. And what we want to do in this case is we want to go inside a movie mode and we just want to click the button for record. And what we're going to do is we're going to go find the location of our scene. And in this case, I'm just going to pick kind of a static scene. And we'll go ahead and we'll set it maybe something like... I'm going to set this a little bit lower because what I don't want is I don't want to see the cars disappearing in the end here. So maybe we'll set a scene kind of like this one. We're going to go ahead and click Take Photo. And so one thing to note about this is um, the length of your clip is going to be important. So because at the end of this clip, it's going to reset your car location. So like for example, this clip is two seconds long. Well, if I go ahead and click the checkbox and um, I click play, that animation is going to be two seconds long. And you can see how it's just kind of looping in here. What we're going to do is we're going to add an effect by clicking on the effects button. You're going to go into scene and animation. You're looking for mass move. And so you're going to click the button, the pencil right here in order to edit the mass move. And so now what we want to do is we want to add our path. And so what, what this means in this case is we actually want to take this path and we want to set it to be along the length that we want our cars to drive. And so what this means is you see this button over here for add path, well you're gonna click on this, then you're gonna single click and you're gonna draw a path that's gonna contain all of the cars that we're talking about. So in this case, I've got this long path like this one. So if I click here again, um, basically anything that falls inside of this path is gonna get animated to follow this path. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag this so that it covers this whole road, just to make sure we're gonna pick up all of these cars Cars. And so now if I come in here and I click the uh, recalculate path button and then the play button, you're going to see that all of the cars in here are going to get animated. So you can see how this animation right here is moving these cars. And you can adjust the speed of those cars by clicking and dragging this slider. And one thing to note about this is you'll notice that these cars are resetting every two seconds because that's the length of our clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and click pause and I'm gonna click the checkbox. Now I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna edit my clip to make it longer. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make this maybe like a, we'll make it a, 
we'll call it a 10 second clip. And we're gonna go ahead and click the checkbox. So now we're gonna go back in here and you need to recalculate your path when you make a change like that. Well now this animation is gonna be 10 seconds long. So you can see how it's just gonna continually animate these objects moving along this path. And again, you can kind of adjust your speed. You're gonna notice this is just gonna continually animate these objects along this path. And so like for example, if I was to look at the entire path, so if I was to fly around here, basically what's happening is these cars are going until this point and then it's starting them up again at the start point over here. So you can use this to animate those vehicles. And so one thing to note about this is if you want those cars to go the other direction, you can click on the buttons like this to toggle the direction in order to adjust which way those cars are going. So now if I was to drop my camera down here, you can see how I've got these cars getting animated driving by in this scene. And so now let's say that we wanted to come in here and we wanted to build another line of cars going the other direction in the other lane. Well, what we would do is we could just do the same kind of thing. And again, this might be a dual lane. And in fact, let's treat it like it's a dual lane for what we're doing here. So I'm gonna use the place mode in mass placement or the place tool in mass placement mode. And I'm gonna add two sets of cars in this case. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're just gonna click and click. And you can move this over a little bit by dragging this line or these, uh, these points on the ends. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a line of cars going that way. And then just for the sake of this video, let's also add a set of cars going the other way in the other lane. So we'll go ahead and use this to animate cars going both directions. So I'll just move this right over here and we're gonna click confirm and return to build mode. Well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a new path on this side. So we'll go back into movie mode and still inside this same scene, we're gonna click in here to edit this again and we're gonna add a new path. So we have our one path over here now we're going to come in here, we're going to click the button to add path, and we're going to add a path over here. We're going to do the same thing where we click and drag to adjust our path, path width to make sure that our cars are going to be contained in here. We're going to click the recalculate paths button. Well now, you're going to see that the cars on this path are moving, and the cars on this path are moving. And again, you can come in here and you can adjust your speed. But one of the cool features about this is inside of the scene, if you click on the button for toggle dual direction, you can actually set this where these cars, each lane of cars is going in a different direction. So you can use this in order to uh, animate cars going both directions in two different lanes, just like this. And then the last thing I wanna do is talk about how to add paths. So, like first of all, I can click and drag this path if I want to, to move it so I can adjust where that path is gonna be. You do have to be a little bit careful where your cars are in this case. But let's say for example that I wanted to add nodes to this path. Well you can do that by holding the control key. So if you hold the control key and click like this, you can see how you can actually add points to this node. And then you can also adjust those points. And so what that means is you could make this whole path kind of circular if you wanted to. So you can see how by holding the control key and clicking, I can add points to this node. You can delete the points by right clicking on them. So you can see how I can right click in here If I don't like a point, like if I accidentally placed a point up here, I can just right click on it in order to remove that point. So you can see how this allows you to adjust this path really easily. And now, if I was to click the button for recalculate path and click the play button, you're gonna see that these cars are actually gonna get animated turning around this corner like this. So you can see how the cars actually do like a smooth turn around this corner. And then you can also adjust their speed. 
So you can see how you can add complex paths to your animations inside this mode. And so once you're done with this, once you've got this kind of the way that you want it to be and your clip is the way you want it to be, you're just going to render it like you would any other scene. So you can see how you get kind of a preview of what this is going to look like by clicking this play button right here. So you can see how I'm e able to easily come in here and animate this to show whatever I want. And one other thing to note about this is you need to be careful about your car spacing because you'll notice that I've got you'll notice that I've got kind of a gap in here because my path is so long and I don't have enough cars to fill the whole thing up. So that is something to be aware of when you're doing this. And then for everything else, you just treat this like a normal rendering. So let's say for example, that I wanted this to be um, like a dawn render or something like that. Maybe I came in here and added like a real sky or something like that to make this look a little bit more realistic. And obviously you'd add some plants and some other things in here to make this look a little bit more realistic. But let's say that this was the scene that we wanted to create in here. Then all you would do is just come in here, you'd click the render movie button, and you would just render this out like you would a normal movie. So you would adjust the output quality, the number of frames per second, um, the video size, and you can see how this comes in here and this renders out all of those different frames. And because there's not a whole lot going on in here, and because um, it's just not a very long video, this isn't going to take too long to render. So you can see how in this case it's telling me this is going to take about a minute and a half. So now let's take a look at our rendering. If we go in here and click the button for open folder, and then we run our video, you can see how we have our animation of our cars rolling across here and it actually looks really good. Um, obviously there's some more detail that we'd want to add but um, it's really easy to create a animation like this inside of Lumion 9. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you used Mass Move in Lumion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always thank Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.